it's 2024 and if you don't have a website for your clients to see your work and your portfolio then you are lagging behind the two things that you basically require for having a simple portfolio website is a domain name and a hosting and you can get this from hostinger for as cheap as 69 rupees a month or 149 rupees a month depending on your requirements overall it will not cost you over 2000 rupees with a free domain i will leave the link in the description box below you can go check it out and let's be honest the actual problem is to develop a professional website all by yourself and without spending a lot of money on a developer or hiring someone who can do it for you this video will help you exactly that and to create a professional looking website in under 20 minutes let's get started first thing that you have to do is to install a plugin on your wordpress dashboard so you go to the install plugin and uh, click on add new plugin and you are going to be finding spectra so this is the spectra gutenberg blogs you need to install it and activate it now make sure that when you are installing your wordpress you are doing it on the astra theme to make this easier so we are going to quickly activate it and i'm going to show you how you can use these blogs to create a professional looking portfolio website so this is the one that i had already created and i'm going to recreate it for you so you can replicate this style of um, this design of website you start with adding a container first within the container you need a grid so you can choose the one that you like i'm going to go with this design here i'm going to insert an image you can upload it to your media library i'm going to use the one that's existing and it's in the right size that is 1600 into 900 pixels you can uh, align it the way you want and you can also increase or decrease the size like i did here i'm going to add a spacer so the text that i have is sort of in the middle and it looks more aligned and visually nice just going to increase the size to match the one below it now we are going to add a heading so you can introduce yourself here so i am chavi or whatever your name is or whatever content that you want to write here below that i'm going to add a separator it just looks nice when you do that you can also skip it if you don't like it and then we are going to add the paragraph and you can introduce yourself or you can write the usp of your service or you as a freelancer now we are going to add buttons so this is the one that you want to use and not the rest and you can have one or two buttons you can have a schedule call or check my portfolio or contact me kind of buttons uh, which are uh, which you should have on your portfolio website if you're going to share uh, be sharing it with your clients so that's the first blog that we have created Now below it, we are going to create a as seen on section or featured on or the clients that you have worked with or anything that can showcase to the clients and portray you as a trustworthy individual or a freelancer. So we are going to add a heading here and you can choose what you like to. If you are a beginner, you can skip over it for now or you can have better clients and you can publish it here you know that uh, i've worked with these clients and use their logo you can use a grid here or columns uh, i'm going to use columns here columns allow you to have three columns if you want four then you need to use a grid for the per for this purpose i'm just going to use columns here and you can add the logo from the media library so you upload it to your media library and you can select it from there and you can keep uploading the um, logo and you can align it the way you want so that it looks all sorted now if you have more than three or four you can um, duplicate this entire container so that all the formatting styles are also copied and you don't have to do it uh, again and again so uh, give me a minute I'll just uh, send align it and we are going to yeah. 
select the container and duplicate it so you can duplicate it as many times as you want and you can keep changing the images so that's how this is going to work i'm going to add a spacer so it looks a little bit more clean now here i'm going to add a media plus text so one side there will be media and one side there will be text so i'm going to just uh, select an image you can resize it the way you want and here you can have a heading like the way we did before and you can have um, the paragraph below it here you can have social media icons uh, this is also very important because this will help your clients understand that you are a real person and you can then also use your social media to um, re-emphasize that you are an expert in the services that you are providing so add the most relevant social media channels here so now we are going to come to the expertise section that i have created here so it works the same way but we are going to be using a grid and we are going to add an image on one side and text on the other side so i'm just going to select one from the media library that's already existing you can upload new ones if you like and you have a heading and then you have paragraphs there i'm just going to add a spacer so um, it looks that it's in between you can also uh, resize the spacer according to your needs this section is also created similarly so you can use grids and columns and media plus text a combination of all of them to create the look that you like so this is how i've created this website now um for the chavi agarwal that you can see up top i am going to customize the theme settings so either you can click on the customize like i did or go to your dashboard on the left hand side you will see appearance and from there click on customize here you can set a lot of things for your theme so you can set your headers you can set colors containers typography what kind of font sizes and all of that uh, for the header i have not created a logo for this website i have just used a site title and my name you can resize it the way you want so if you don't want a site title or if you want to use a logo you can do that and from the next tab that is design you can change the font size the title color taglines logo color and whatever you need to so i've just kept it simple and quick just use my name and you can change the other settings if you like you can play with these settings there is no problem once you have changed something you click on the publish button that is up top from here select home page um, otherwise it will show you the default home page by the astra theme now we are going to create a quick portfolio page because you need to showcase to your clients what you are actually doing so i am going to go with media plus text here again and i'm going to have a photo of myself because um i believe that it's always good to have photos on your portfolio website so that the client can actually look at you and uh visualize you as a person who is working with them creates more trust So here we are going to have a heading of sort wherein you are introducing yourself again like the way we did. Below that you can uh, have a USB. So basically if you are a writer you can tell how you convert uh, leads into paying customers or how you can help them rank on SEO or how you can help them in some way. Make sure that whatever you are writing here is the uh, is telling the clients how you can help them not how they can help you so the focus needs to be your client so i'm just going to have this quick line here you can also make use of chat gpt to make it better so write a line that you think depicts what you are doing you can copy that in chat gpt and ask chat gpt to make it a little better so this is the prompt that i use on chat gpt i basically tell tell them or uh, that you know i'm a journalist and i'm a writer and uh, i'm trying to create a usb line for me where my clients would know uh, that i can do this for them uh, 
please improve on, along the lines and then it will improve now if you don't like this one suggestion you can always ask chat gpt to give you more options and it will give you more options we have almost 10 of them and you can choose what you like to do i'm just quickly going to select the one uh, which was in the beginning and copy it below that we are going to have a button i strongly suggest that you have a discovery call button here which goes to calendly and they can schedule a free consultation call with you or you can have a link to a google doc where they can fill up the questions and then schedule a call with you and you can have the calendly link within the google doc now we are going to have uh, now we are going to create the portfolio here so the first section that i'm going to create is for blog writing and articles because that's the main thing that i do below that i'm going to write in one line how i can help them with writing now you don't need to do that if there is only one service that you provide because you have already uh, created your usp there but if you are doing multiple things like videos and articles and social media then you can um, write for each line that you know you have been doing this since um xyz years and you have worked with xyz companies and you have driven xyz results if you are new i suggest that you skip over this and you pick your best written articles and blog to put up on your portfolio you can also run this through chat gpt again like the way i did before to improve the wordings So we are going to uh, opt for this grid, which has three sections, and we are going to categorize it into niches. So if you are writing in one niche, you don't need to do this. But if you have multiple niches, and I don't recommend you have more than two or three, you can um, divide it so your clients know which section they are looking at, or they can look at. Here you will be adding images. These images should be in square size and six hundred into six hundred pixels, so it looks uh, aligned with each other. and you need to choose some relevant images so if it was travel i would use my travel uh, images now below it you can write the uh, title of your blog post and you can hyperlink it now the one other thing that you can do if you are seasoned and you have some kind of um, experience is to write what is so special about this uh, particular blog post was it published somewhere uh, big was it picked up by a big syndication partner or a big brand did it get a lot of social shares um is it ranking on google something like that can be also mentioned at, um, below this uh, below the title you just have to add a paragraph or just hit enter and it will create one paragraph for you just going to add a spacer here what you can do is uh, select the entire container and then duplicate it and use it for the next category that you are uh, doing just add click on add before and add, add the next niche and you can change the images and the titles and everything the formatting stays the same but you don't have to keep doing it it just helps saves time similarly you can um, select the container again and duplicate if you have a third category but don't have more than 3 initials if you are in to writing so uh like the way i was saying you can say something like it was published on fox news with uh, 8000 shares or something or it was syndicated to over 100 uh, or over 10 outlets so something unique because the client needs to know what kind of results that you can drive and this is your chance to showcase it to them you know you can also say something like you know it helped the brand convert these many leads into paying customers now this is something that you need to ask your client how your content is doing and how it's helping them um in most cases voluntarily no client will tell you but you need to keep asking them in most cases uh, a lot of articles and blogs do rank because they have an seo team so make sure that you keep checking that as well
Now let's say that the next one is video editing or thumbnail creation or something like that. So we are going to put a heading here. And we are going to say, let's say YouTube videos. So uh, you can use it for uh, showcasing your thumbnail skills or your editing skills or um, any video, video skill. Now here also you can categorize it into the kind of videos. So for example, you can do a talking head, a travel documentary or an interview style thing. Depends on what all categories you have and you're expert in. That way the client can see. Now what you do is to add the YouTube, go to your YouTube channel or your client's YouTube channel and uh, find the link and embed it there. So you are going to search for YouTube and you are going to take the normal URL and embed it here. So pick up different variety of your best work and you can create a section for your videos. It can also be used for thumbnail creations. So you can say that thumbnail creations and you can embed the video so they can see how the thumbnail actually look like on the video. Now this is one of the videos uh, wherein I worked with a client. So I'm going to put that and below that I'm going to say it was a brand collaboration with Peach Pay. So they know that I have also done brand collaborations like that. And that's also one of their options. So if the video that you created did really well or um, it had a lot of comments, you can put that as your win as well. Again, if you're writing a USP, you can use chat GPT and it will tell you um, how you can write it. Just change the prompt to a video creator. And uh, it says something like transforming your vision into captivating videos that not only engages, but also drives conversion. So that USP wherein you tell your client how you are helping them. I'm just going to put that. The next one is let's say reels or Instagram reels. If you are a reel editor or you help brands create reels, then you can showcase your vid uh, videos like this. So we are going to put a grid here. So we are going to pick the reel that you want to um, inculcate into this portfolio. We are going to click on the three dots. We are going to take the embed link from here. Go back to your website. You are going to put custom HTML here. Put the embed code and click on preview and it will showcase your reel. So you can add as many reels as you like for your portfolio. The next step is let's say Instagram posts and you do the same thing. You go, go to your Instagram, cha uh, Instagram channel, you pick up the embed code, you create a grid here and you put the custom HTML and uh, if you preview it, it will showcase it as a, as the actual post. So I'm just going to go up top and I'm going to add this line here because it's very um, important that for the clients, it's easy for you to find and to contact you. So I'm just going to put the email ID there. And if you're comfortable, you can also put your business phone number there. And we are going to put the buttons there. Like I said, initially just did not put it. I remembered. So I'm just going to do that here. So schedule a free consultation calls and you can link it to Calendly. Or you can uh, link it to a Google Doc um, in which you have the discovery questions and a link to the Calendly so that they can also book a free consultation call. That way you will have all the information before your discovery call. Now the next up is um, you can also have an as seen on section like the way we did on the home page wherein you are showcasing what brands you have worked with or uh, what kind of clients you have worked with what kind of brands you've been featured on. So you can um, insert that here like the way we did before. So you use a grid or a column and then you insert the photos and you align them.
the next up is client says so it is very important that you also tell them that you have worked with clients and what they have to say so we are going to insert a testimonial here so you go search for the blog that's called testimonials and you can click on it it will get added and you can see that you can add three testimonials of your clients and um, the company name and what they have to say so you do that if you're new work with somebody for a testimonial you can work with your friends your family or any business nearby and get these testimonials for yourself the next one is rates you're going to add the block called pricing uh, this is an optional one but i like to do it because the client needs to know that you know your rates start with this and put your minimum rates here the one that you're comfortable with for each item on the list so you can say the youtube video start at uh, let's say $25 uh, an hour Instagram reel started this in XYZ you can add a Google map and put the address here um, if you are primarily working with Indian clients you can put your address but if your clients are majorly uh, outside of India I would prefer that you don't put it sometimes they get put off uh, by wanting to outsource it to somebody and they might judge you it has happened to me before so I would prefer that you don't put it but if your clients are majorly Indian then they would like to see where you're working out of so a generic address like you know maybe whatever sector that you are living in you can put that there you don't have to put the exact address or you can completely skip over this as well below that we are going to just put some footer menu and uh, this is how the final thing looks like I'm just going to add a few spacers and make it a little bit better you can keep formatting it until you are happy and uh, do don't uh, forget to add a call to action at the end of your page as well because you need to give the client um, all the options it needs to be on their face that you know they can contact you so book a call there and maybe add a social media icon um, in the beginning so they can also uh, contact you there or see your work there so this is how the final um, thing looks like I hope this video helped you out in understanding how to create a professional looking portfolio website for your freelancing journey. If you have any questions, if you get stuck building this kind of simple portfolio website for your freelancing services using Spectra and Astra theme, comment below, let me know and I will love to help you out with your problems. If this video helped you out, please don't forget to give it a like, to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family who can help who can use this for their benefit and i'll see you next week guys bye bye